Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Colin O'Donohoe, uh, World Maestro. And uh, this is a very special video, and I want to give a special thanks to uh, Upstate New York. So I wore the hat, which you're going to want to hold on to yours, but I'm going to ditch mine. I wanted to make a special thank you to uh, WBER and their DJ, Jimmy O, for showing me this great piece of music that I'm going to share with you now. Um, it's not every radio station that allows a DJ to play a song that's over nine minutes long. But, I guarantee you, you listen to the song, it's the shortest nine minutes that you've ever spent. It's just, wow, it just goes by so quick. So, the reason I wanted to talk about this song is because this song embodies the project, what I'm doing week after week, except they do it in one song. Now, they don't go through the whole scope of 52A, 51A, yada, yada, but they do go with 9A, 8A, 7A, 5A, and 6A, 12A, all in one song. Granted, it's nine minutes. They don't just cram it in right away, but, you know, one song, that many different meter changes, and a rock band, wow. It's just, for anyone, it's impressive, okay? So, good job. Uh, great job, Tool. Okay, so what do they do? Uh, this is a two-part video, so I'm talking part one right now. Okay, if you like it, which I know you will, uh, subscribe, and then you get part two as soon as that one becomes available on the interwebs. All right, so nine, eight, seven, and then they return to five, okay? So when they're in nine, they do three, three, three. They group their nine uh, with groups of three. There's lots of ways to group nine. They chose this one. Eight, they do three, three, boop, they just shave a little bit off, and they go with two, all right? Then with the seven, three, notice how they always start with a three, okay, that's one of the only consistencies, um, and it's, it's a little tricky, all right? And then they've got a four. The way I hear it, I hear a phrase of four. You could say it's two groups of two, all right? I would accept that. It's totally fine. Now, what they do here is they shave off what seems like an imperceptible amount of time. But it is perceptible. It is perceptible to you. Regardless of whether you went to Juilliard or whether you never took a music class, as a human being listening to music, you hear that, you perceive, and you know something is amiss. Something is wrong. You might not know what, and you're going to have one of two reactions. You're either going to say, Ugh, ugh, this band doesn't know what they're doing. This is totally offbeat and they're hitting, blah, 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 oh man, change that. Okay, or you'll go, hmm, this, this is interesting, I mean, okay, it's not what I, it's not, it's not what I thought would happen, but, and so it might intrigue you. It's going to have one of two, uh, you'll have one of two reactions there. I had the, the second one, I had the latter one, where you go, ooh, man, pretty cool. And I had to listen to it again and again to hear what exactly they were doing. All right, so I just told you. So, enough talk, right? Let's hear it. I'm going to try to show you. Do my best here. Remember, hold on to your hands. Get ready. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now they go into five eight. Listen for the bass to come in. He hits on the downbeat there, starts the phrase, okay, and why does this matter, what, why the perception, why uh, the meter changes, and, and how do we as humans notice it? Because we like order, we like to feel in control, and when you see a piece of paper and you see letters scattered on there, what do you actually see? You see paragraphs, and you see sentences, and then you see words, and it makes sense to you. We like things to make sense. So when we hear this kind of music, and if it's not jiving and it doesn't make sense, then we don't enjoy it as much. We feel it's off. 
But when we have it and now we know the order and we can kind of, ah, we can place it, ah, that's how it works. So I helped you, I hope, gain a little perspective on what Tool was doing. Now in part two, you get to hear my favorite part of the song. This wasn't actually even my favorite part. So stay tuned, check out part two, and you get to hear what I think is the coolest part of the song. Thanks for watching.